This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In the previous segment, what we did is we looked at, and we kind of had a general 101 on what a mask is. Let's take that information in this segment in this lesson and get a little bit more creative. What I need to do is this is a photograph of a Napa Valley tree, Napa Valley, California. And I like the tree, I like the photograph, but I don't like the sky. The sky's not a happy sky. I want a happy sky in this photograph. This sky is not happy. So I got a happy sky down here. I'm going to turn off Napa Valley for a minute, and there's the sky that I want. We're not talking about just getting rid of these large areas here. We're talking about weaving in and out of these areas, selection areas that would be very, very minute. That would be a nightmare to have to do manually. We're going to make a mask to make this work, but I want to introduce another way to make a mask that's through selection and through what are called channels. Now I've got the channels up here. The channels, if you click on them, just click once, red, green, and blue, represent color distribution in the image. How much blue, how much green, how much red. We're not concerned with that. What we need to do is figure out which one of these three channels can produce a silhouette for us. What we're looking for is one of the channels that really goes dark to light, which actually is the blue one. If you look at red, red's pretty good because we need a differentiation between the sky and the tree and down here. But that's pretty light down here. Green, about the same. Blue, looks good. In other words, I can see the sky and I can see the tree and I can see the ground. They're different levels of gray. That's the one we want to use. What we have to do now is we have to convert that into an alpha channel mask. You don't want to play with the color channel. You'll mess up your colors. Drag it down on top of the new icon right there. And you have just made a copy of the blue channel. The next step is creating a silhouette. I want a black and white silhouette of that image. I'm going to go to the word image, go down to adjustments, and over and down to threshold. I like playing with threshold. What Threshold does is it splits the image into the components of black and white based on the original brightness levels of those pixels. Now, those pixels can have any brightness level from 0 to 255. Lighter values will be the higher numbers. Lower values will be darker. And if I move the slider, you can see how it changes. What we're looking for is we're looking for the sky to be totally white and everything else, like a silhouette, to be black. That's our goal. We're going to move that middle slider until we visually see what we think is a good mask. Let's move this out of the way a little bit so we can see that better. Come down here. Move that back and forth until we get a nice, good silhouette. So we're looking like about there. And as you can see, the individual branches and the leaves and the trees, this is exactly what I'm looking for. You won't always get what you want. This is not always going to work which is why we have different ways to create a mask. But when it works, believe me, it's like magic. Let's go ahead and click OK. You will notice, let me move this out of the way for a second, there are a few spots in the grass. That little white spot right there, there's a couple up here. Those will be part of the selection, and I don't want them to. That's the grass. There's nothing coming through that. So what I'm going to do is pick up my paintbrush, make sure I have black as my color by clicking that little button right here, and I'm going to paint those areas out. Sometimes you have to touch the mask up a little bit. But in this case, this is easy. There's no big problems. I'm just getting rid of those little sparkles that would be a selection in the grass areas. All right, with that done, I think we've got it pretty much. Let's move this back down. Go back and click on RGB. Don't click over here. Click actually on that composite, and it will restore everything. We need to make this a selection. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the word select, which makes sense. We're going to go down to load selection. Alpha channels are selected using this option. Load selection. We will select blue copy, which is the only one we have, and just simply click OK, and you will notice all of that sky is now selected. Here's the thing. We haven't made the alpha channel mask yet. We've only made a selection. However, if you make a selection before you click that masking button, the mask will be generated based on the selected areas, which is going to make this very easy. We have one more thing to do, and I'll demonstrate this. 
come down here and click the button to make a mask. Now you'll notice something. The mask is in the wrong place. Let me turn off the sky for a second. We're masking out the wrong area. So what we need to do, I'm going to go to history here, and we'll go back up a little bit until we have it back again. All right. The area that's selected becomes the visible area when you click the mask. We want the opposite areas selected. So what we're going to do before we click that mask button is we're going to go to the word select inverse. Now that reverses the selection and makes the tree and the grass the selected objects, which means if we now come over here and click this button, we get exactly what we want. We have literally made a tremendously complex selection using an alpha channel to create the actual selection and then going down to our little button right down here and making the mask. We now have a new sky visible behind that tree. The cool thing is we can manipulate. If we select sky and pick up our move tool, we can reposition the sky if that's what we want to do. A totally fantastic way to make a complex selection using an alpha channel and then converting it into a mask.